So I'm here with Karen from Google, and we're talking about Google Earth. And I think most people, when they think of Google Earth, they say, I'm going to Grand Canyon, I'm going to zoom in on the Grand Canyon, or I want to see what my front garden looks like from space, zooming in. Uh, but you guys are here talking about Google Earth in a really robust way in terms of storytelling and a way for people to tell their own stories. Can you give us some examples of that? Yeah, absolutely. So the new Google Earth is uh, online and it's going to allow a lot more people to tell their own story. And uh, you can, of course, still fly to locations. Like right now we're flying into the Tech Museum where we're have, you know, close next across the street from where we are today. Um, and of course you can get down and you can get right down into and see 3D, 3D imagery and really high resolution imagery. But what's really cool about this tool, and you can you know, go in into the street level, et cetera, but what, what we're really excited about are people to use this as a canvas to tell their own stories, right. to put their own data, to put their own locations, to put their own um, um, experiences on maps and on Google Earth. Um, and you don't have to be a coder to do that? No, absolutely not. We're trying to make it as easy as possible so people can just plop a map down, add a video, add an image, add some description. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, you know, starting in April when we released this version, we released a, a lot of different stories. Um, and so if you go to uh, this little ship's wheel here, it's, we call it Google Earth Voyager. It helps you voyage mm -hmm. around the world and see different stories. And there's actually a couple different categories you can choose from just to get ideas of the types of stories that you could tell. Um, and so we actually are here talking to museums about this. Not only could they tell their own stories in an exhibit, but they could also use it for education before and after. So if classrooms come are coming to a museum, maybe they're doing an experiential lesson and classroom activity on Google Earth. Um, making their own stories before they come to the museum and so it really reinforces what they're learning. And I'm thinking too, I mean this would be good like for the New York Times to oh, show you know, uh, battles or what's happening in terms of famine or That's all right. that kind of stuff. Right? That's right. We're finding that lots of nonprofit groups, advocacy organizations, scientific organizations, as well as uh, media, both broadcast and journalist media, are starting to use maps more and more to tell a story, not only about an event, but about history, about culture. And you're popping in and out of Street View, mm -hmm. and you know, yep. yeah. and that's, that capability is coming next year for people to be able to do this? Well, everything you're seeing right now, popping in and out of Street View, and reading the stories that are already in there, that's there today. You, anybody can go and, and use this in the classroom starting today. And we actually have some lesson plans and classroom activities that allow people to have that contextual information in the classroom. That said, we want more people to build their own stories. These were done in partnership with nonprofit right. groups like National Geographic, H HHMI, Bio Interactive um, helped make it, make this one. Uh, they were the author of this one. But we want anyone to be able to author these stories, and that's really going to, I think, where we think a lot of the magic is going to magic is going to open up. And so that's going to happen later this year, later next year. People are going to be able to do more of their own. Right. content and stories. And I'm thinking, you know, we're zooming in and out all around the world, but you could use this to give a city tour or a campus tour. Or absolutely, yeah. absolutely. If we go back into the ship's wheel, actually, um, you can see um, there's a cat whole category about travel, uh, as well as culture and history. These are ways to take a tour, a geographic tour through space and time uh, with different uh, information. For example, this is talking about San Francisco, and if you start exploring, it walks you through different places. And this is actually a story told by locals um, that we've worked with in the past. And so it's a great example of how any local or any visitor could be t t telling their own stories about a place in okay. the future. Karen, thank you very much. That's super cool. You're welcome. Okay. Good luck.